Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey, Joe. Oh, my helmet. Ah! That's the sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. The white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it on the account. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet and the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and and really, really cool. Yeah. You can pretend to be like us, you know? Well, like, like a Zaku. The one eye, Cyclops eye. Anyway. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was good. I'll run. Yeah, work to do. Oh, he's running because of, he got scared by the helmet. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. No, you can't take me. Hong Kong? Uh, Chief. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. Okay, he's. I guess he's on the run from the Hong Kong cops? I don't know. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The, the what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. Yes. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. Is she somewhat relaxed now? Good. Are you all set? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Jukebox. B. I don't know. I never know what to choose. Not all. Guess you get preview? Loading preview. Everything will be okay. Daijobu. Sure. I don't know. I'll just choose random reminiscence. Digital Drive. Harmatrin Dream. The city that never sleeps. Alternate reality. Glitch City. Mm. Sure. Time to mix drinks and change lives. No. Is it Donovan? Hey Brat, you're in luck. I decide to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Uh, a big beer? The usual, I guess. I guess that's just his, fav his favorite. Four of those, two of these, four of these, and eight of these. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. There you go. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we're supposed to hand the interns an uh, article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high school of a car. You know, I never got a car. Cars are expensive. I don't know. Everyone tells you, like, get a, you know, at least get a driver's license, you know, and get a car and everything. But cars are so expensive. I would... I don't know. Maybe because I'm so stingy with money, but I will never get a car, I feel like. It's just not worth it, I don't know. Anyway. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I have for today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than do a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. <laughs> We've come a long way in the Department of Lilum sex appeal, I tell you. He was a Lilum then. Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH-1A uh, models. Hmm, Chia? Ch -ch -ch Chia! I've heard they're ana anatomically correct in every way. Or anatomically, anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. <clears throat> hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh, me? Uh, what the hell's a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? 
I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riot ten years ago, right? Oh, cause that's why. Maybe that's why Gillian uh, was afraid of the cops. I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Oh, okay, there you go. That's his backstory. Really, that's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in one of those riots, or you were in those riots, Mr. Donovan. Do I look like some kind of anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking to some investors and those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, they don't really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? Very topical, by the way. Isn't there like some... I think there's... Well, maybe not so topical, but there was, you know, well, riots. Actually. Well, riots. I don't know what you call it. Protests, not riots. You can turn to riots, I guess. There were some protests in Hong Kong, actually. Pretty recently. Anyway. They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have, no matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. Ah, oh, yes, of course. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there were there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything's mostly the aftermath of previous protests is where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Did I say laconic? I don't know what laconic means. Or maybe laconic means like, you know... Um... Like, like making it like, uh... General... Like generalizing it, right? Making it like... Making it into like a very simple meaning rather than you know going on to all all the details. But anyway, trying to get the full picture it might take you back beyond the industrial revolution. Yeah, keeping it short, I guess. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Hm, scholarship? That's no mean feat, Brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, they would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. I was, idol? Idol the master? Um, it's one of those things I really not remember much of. <laughs> You'll be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some piece of face pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might, like you might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Or like, there's actually a million dialects in Chinese, by the way. I mean, those Mandarin and Cantonese are official dialects. But like, there is like a lot more. Anyway. Tangerine, Cantawat? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might learn Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere, in mainland China anyway. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. <laughs> okay. Right. Well... Even knowing though, even knowing English though is usually enough to get around because English is a very common language. Even though, even in places in Hong Kong, you know, if you speak English, you'll get around fine for the most part. I think can't speak like with literally everyone, but for the most part, you know, people who are meant to meet with foreigners anyway can probably speak English. Anyways, surely a student of a scholarship can serve me a Mars blast too, right? But I imagine like reading would be hard though. Anyway. Sure, on it. That's a Mars Blast. Change of pace. Mars Blast. One, two, three, four. Two. Mm, that's it, right? One of these is enough to leave your face red like in the actual planet. Mm, very red. Let's just double check. Four here. Square to that. And then you blend it. By shaking it. Shake, shake, shake. So, yeah. 
Here. All right, I guess I believe your story. Right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I say anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? Uh, how they want an unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in German. But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Excuse me? Your readers. You think clients are always right when you're wrong, unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. If you make one fucking mistake and it's over for you, you're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal? Gods forbid if they ever catch, you some, uh, catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about an animal in an article about cougars in the nearby forests. Uh, we, we were talking about our animal in an article about cougars in the forest? Okay. Oh, because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. That's funny thing about that. I don't know. You see, it, it, it kind of, you know, that's kind of true, but also not true. You can also go the other way. It's extremely, just be extremely offensive, and somehow um, you'll be the leader of an entire country. But anyway. They were having picnic parties in the same forest as I thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny what somebody else here is, but the sale smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. I mean, yeah, that's kind of true. I mean, in general, like that's how I feel about like the internet and how it's kind of weird. Like. Everything we say on the internet is like publicized, even though like when we have conversations with, like with people in real life, you know, you normally don't want to offend the other person because you know the other person, right? You know what they're like, like you know what you shouldn't say around other like certain people because you know it's just not nice. You, know, you don't want to be rude, right? But like when you say something um, on the internet, though, it's like it's just like this public forum. So like, so yeah, it is kind of true. You might offend somebody, but like. I don't know. It's hard though. It's like a different kind of era, I guess, of like how you speak on the internet. And sometimes you could just ignore all that, you know, but I don't know. Uh, probably because I, because I was born in Canada, you know? I'm born in Canada, so being polite is actually pretty important, I feel like. I don't know. Having manners is kind of a good thing, but, you know. Uh, Risa, people being offended on this behalf is the worst? Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't get into that much. I don't like to argue in general, though. I feel like, yeah, a lot of people, they argue on the internet is stuff, but like, I don't know. I always feel like if if people could just talk in person, you know, it might be better than talking over the internet. Because the internet, you know, it's just words, right? Like, but what if you like, if you talk in person, though, there's like a tone of voice and body language, you know? So like, there's like context to what you're saying. So like, I feel like people would you know, be offended less if you actually just talk in person. But you know, obviously, it's the you know, it's a, it's a, glo it's a globalization of the, of the internet and everything, and we always talk through text, at least mostly anyway. So like, I feel like there's a, a a a bigger chance for like misunderstandings, you know, and that's why I feel like people feel offended sometimes, or like you know, I don't know. I just want people to get along. That's that's my conclusion. <laughs> anyway. And while some, uh, while some take it graciously, many just love feeling us insulted. Yes. They relish the thought of getting up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I have to run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. I doubt that. Especially the shrimp ramen, by the way. I don't know. That article wasn't very neutral. I don't know about that. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Uh, sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. 
The fact that they were posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something to lay the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Like a pay or something? Basically. When that encore concert happens, I need a plaster of that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Okay. Okay, Mr. Donovan. Okay, Mr. Donovan. Let's see, something bitter. Wonder if some alcohol would help too. You know, maybe get some alcohol as well. Uh, Grizzly Temple. That's not enough alcohol. Suplex? Mm, only three alcohol. Not enough alcohols. I need more alcohols. Ah yes, gut punch. Optional karma train. Let's see. Can I make it a big one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that how it works? I don't even know. Aged? And just give as much karma train as possible. Give it a... Um... Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid, the Joe G. Hirohito. Hirohito? Isn't that the emperor of like. Old Japan, you know? Imperial Japan? Anyway, I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol interview, I guess. He really, he's really into Idol Master. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know, I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. It's not so considerate right now. I'm no saint kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock-block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. Okay, <laughs> weird advice. What if it's your dad? Well, did I stutter? Okay. Maybe you could get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that mean he'd be off work, and I need him to get at my. I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so I know. I'll even write about her somewhere else in the paper. Give him the food critics column. It's shit, anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Okay. All right. Thank you, please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. There's nothing. I don't have a problem. Uh, don't tell me. Yep, can't take the helmet, can't take the helmet off. Like, you're supposed to, like, press a button, right? I don't know, somewhere. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? Google search. How do you take off a Valkyria type white knight helmet? It's not precisely a common query, you know? You know, just ask uh, Alexa. Admit it, can't speak. Just ask Alexa. Alexa. How do I get this helmet off me? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. Mm, what? Did you run out of air? I just realized you serve a Valkyria in Valhalla. Ha ha. Ha ha. Very appropriate. Ah shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where's her number? Yo, know, here it is. Hey Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? Well, she will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Oh, story, we saw it before. Hey, honey, can you see me? No, you're a ghost. You have, like, stealth camel on. Hmm. Uh, Dorothy. Do Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Uh, who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Uh, 
Bacon? Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. Oh, she is actually invisible? Or how does that work? She didn't see you. Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Okay, so you can't be seen by the helmet. I don't know, is that a plot relevant point or something? No. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Yes, there's... <laughs> there are fetishes like that, I guess. I mean, there's that one waifu. Was that that one waifu in that popular anime? Um, Boku no Akade... Uh, Boku no Hero? Something like that. I can't remember exactly. What's the, what's it called again? Whenever I see... Whenever you see Boku no something, though, I always think Boku no Pico, however. That's not the right one. Boku no Hero Academia or something like that. There's that one... Anime girl, I guess, who's like completely invisible. That's her whole gimmick. Come again? Well, there's people out there who have fetish for invisible people. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, there's a fetish for everything. When you can only see a few of articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Hmm. Not even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too? Is that a jam or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a Nano Camel module. Nano Camel? Haven't you heard of Nano Camel? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. Oh yes, like a uh, Octo Camel, you know, from Metal Gear Solid 4. You can order a module from them and change the, clo the colors of clothes, walls, or tables of that. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want? Uh, what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Hmm, almost to the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'll be an eerie surroundings colored blob. And we let them see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Hmm, weird. You know, maybe we get well, maybe I should have done that. Because there was an option to choose Anna, right? Anna in the in the main menu. Maybe is that Anna demo, I guess. Maybe the reference into that. Something that happened there. Like maybe we talked to ourselves at that point. No, we'll see. I'll go back to that after at some point, I guess. Anyway, nothing important. What are you having? Mm, I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Piano woman. He wants a piano woman. Mm. Sweet, promo, happy. It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained that there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Two Powder Delta, three Flag no guys. Still don't know what any of these mean. They're probably made up. It's made up chemicals. Age mix. P woman. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones. You know, I keep them for special occasions. Whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. Oh, that's nice. Okay then, how is this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. I can't believe I still remember that. No, yeah, was the prologue. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brain with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there really isn't uh, a contract involved or anything. You know... Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. Okay, we can adopt her. That's weird. That's like a guardian, right? That's what they mentioned in the prologue? I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. You pay him to... <laughs> Finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. I... Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh. Hey John, 
Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was that a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what do you do? Now, Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? Oh, well, she said I'm not the one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. Yeah, a cat is fine too. Well, I, but I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, it's a, it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? Oh, uh, she found it. She put it on, now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting out stuff you find is problematic. <laughs> no shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... As a dildo? Is that what you're gonna say? It always seems like she's a pervert. I think she's a prostitute, anyway. <laughs> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked an entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Oh. Well, there's that guy, uh, Ingram. I guess that was you? Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, Oni-chan. Go to bed with Orden and leave. Well, I guess not Oni-chan, she's like a daughter, so like, a tall son. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's not unlikely that happened. Yeah, exactly three years, so it really is just her. Huh, three years. Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems like she died four years ago. Hmm. Oh, interesting, interesting. I think, no, no, I think it's been touched upon like other types of like anime maybe or, you know. Uh, fiction in general, but the idea of like replacing someone that's already dead with like an artificial, you know, robot. <laughs> that's like a thing. I also kind of messed up, but uh, sure, why not? Yeah, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. Moon blast. Never a moon blast. Moon blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Uh, black and white into karma train. Rocks, no, not in blend. Boom. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. Hmm. Tastes like a bit of a sh uh, sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Oh, yes, score. No. Uh, do you actually mind what? Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. What? What if they're dogs though? I don't know. You did say you didn't like dogs. But anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC 72s look like kids? Hmm. Well, no. I guess yeah. The idea is that she's a lowly. She's a lowly bot. Anyway. Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope, every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 or 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade. Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade altered its body into something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? Mm, I don't know. Right now, I'm a, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. The lowly advantage. Mm. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? Well, when people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. 
The amount of roleplaying I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So, if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? Kinda weird. I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Oh, okay, it's... It's, uh, what's his face from Deus Ex Human Revolution or whatever? I never asked for this. That guy. I played that game before. Oh, uh, good evening, Gil. Gil, uh, welcome to... Okay, Gil and Gillian, they both say it. Well, does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and make sure every time you sit you hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. <laughs> Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, why? Couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. Are you supposed to be impolite of me to reject? Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your, you your orders. Okay, Sunshine Clown will gut punch. Press next to the first mix to make the second drink. A big Sunshine Clown and one gut punch. Okay, big one. I'll make a big one. Four of these. And suddenly the music, sometimes the music just randomly goes like super hyper. I don't know. As if like, I guess it's like kind of like dubstep. I don't know. I don't, I don't know music genres. The only music I listen to is anime openings, anime endings, Vocaloid songs, and video game music. So I don't know much about, you know, what you call music, I guess. In fact, I only really learned, you know, the guitar and piano only to play anime music. But anyway. Uh, I don't have a Boston restaurant, Karma Trend, and Blended. Tastes like old chocolate milk. Tastes like candy. Oop. Sun cloud. And then a gut punch. You know, you could probably like, actually, yeah, you could probably just memorize everything, you know, and just do it yourself. You don't look at, you don't have to look in the manual. I imagine, you know, that's what you do if you're doing like a speed run or something. But I don't really have it memorized at this point. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Optional counter. Well, I mean, just a little bit. Here you go. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient car of updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that DFC 72 line leaves tracking nanomachines near the person after, well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? There's every hole. I mean, how many holes are there? And I can imagine maybe two? But, well, three, I guess. We count the mouth. What about the nose? <laughs> nose? Eye hole? Ear? Anyway. <laughs> yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Uh, care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. While we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of the FC-72s who marry, get nervous in their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. Hilarious. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I could ask you something. Uh, sure, go ahead. 
Why are you cosplaying as that guy from Deus Ex? Now, uh, how much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, let's see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you. Please come again. That girl is something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gail, I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him for a while while I help her? Uh, sure, no problem. Oh, I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. No, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast. Better not give him any kind of blast drink by accident. Or any other kind of blast, rather. Mercury Blast, Boom Blast, Mars Blast. Well, a lot of blasts. But a Mars Blast. What? Two, two. Oh. And two Karma Trans. Blended. Mm, go. Here. Bitter and mind numbing. Just like war. Just like the war. Have you been to war? Nice a war we fight every day, Joe. So you haven't been to the war. To a war. Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Uh, what could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. I guess he's a... He's an assassin. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if, if I went haywire. Okay. Haywire, you? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind if you just said... You know, his will go crazy and just start murdering everyone. Mm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her or get original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know, man. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if I left it a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off. You can take your break. Oh, finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Break time. Break time. Nice, relaxing music. It's now safe to keep playing. I wonder why it says that. Is that a reference or something? Because it's kind of weird. Isn't that a weird message? It's like it implies that uh, every other time is very dangerous, you know? It's now very dangerous to keep playing. Uh, uh Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone could smell a spice from a mile away. No. Do, 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 do. Beep. How about I just choose every other song you now? How about that? Uh, uh, that, that. Oh, whatever. No. You could take a couple minutes more, you know? I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of avoiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Mm, sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open. Great. Uh, who? 
I'm gonna guess. Well, is it say maybe? Because I recognize the the color. I don't know. What kind of a hala? No, oh no, somebody else actually. I thought it was say because you had like I don't know because because people have like a colors associated with them, but maybe not. Some other person. She's also a lilum, I guess. Very robotic. It's a big bosom. Anyway. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sort of. Kinda. Yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. Mm, that's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. What does girly even mean? You know, I see flavors like manly and girly. I don't know what that means, necessarily. But sure. Girly and bitter. Sparkle Star? Sweet and girly. That's not what I want. Moonblast? No, it's girly, happy, and sweet. Blue Fairy? Sweet, girly, and soft. That's not what I want. Sparkle Star, no? Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush is definitely not. Fluffy Dream? No, no, I can't find anything that's both girly and bitter. Oh, actually, no, Sunshine Cloud. Oh, for some reason, I, I thought Sunshine Cloud. Because it says it was like, oh, chocolate milk, good smell. You know, I assume it's sweet when I look at the description. But actually, it's bitter. I guess chocolate can be bitter. I don't know. Oh, anyway. Bronson Estran to Idlehide. On the rocks. And. Well, let's make a big one, actually. Let's make a bigger one, why not? I just add a few comma train right there. Comma train, comma train, comma train, comma train. Maybe girly better. And blended. I remember like Gil, he said like, you know, you can either just put no comma train or you can just put maxima. You know, maybe it's just like either or. You know, it doesn't matter if I put just a little or a little bit or like a lot. Either you just put a lot or you put nothing. Or maybe it's that. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Anyway, try this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern night light uh, that will show you your dreams. Kira Miki. I'm Kira Miki. Kira. Kira. Well, you know, Kira. I mean, obviously, it means like sparkle. Yeah, sparkle, sparkle. It's a sound effect in Japanese, but also it just reminds me of Kira, as in killer from uh, Death Note, you know? Kira! She has the Death Note, she's gonna kill us all. So, should I call you Miss Mickey or Miss Kira? Miss Kira. Kira. No, you're not. You're not getting it. I'm just Kira Mickey. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Mickey, okay? Uh, okay. Kira! Mickey. No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira. Mickey. Almost there. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Everyone, Mickey. Kira. Mickey. That's it. Are you feeling it? Get hype. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Ah. Mickey. And don't you ever forget it! Okay. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we? Where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making less preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. 
My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concerts posters outside and decided to check this place. Hmm, guess that? Is that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. Kind of a diva. I see. How big is the concert? I mean, actually, like, literally, like, she's literally a diva. <laughs> anyway. We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold off fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I may not have as many fans of the performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Uh, hold on, then. Based on your little de demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. Mm, I'll just call you Miss Idol, then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft, as in alcohol-free? No, I meant soft, as in soft. Soft? Uh, let's see what I can get you. Something soft. I mean... I do have soft, like... Types of drinks, but like, hmm. I guess we just look through. You know, they, we, yeah, there's certain like uh, tags that aren't simply, you know, in the system. Or rather, like they're not categorized, so we can't search for like, you know, soft. But this is soft, for example. It's bitter, girly, and soft. This is what I gave her last time, I guess. Should I give her something else, or should I just give her this? Hmm. Soft. What is? What else is soft? Soft, soft, soft. Fluffy Dream is soft, as well. You know what? Yeah, just give her this. Why not? And we might, might as well make it big. I don't know. Why not? Yeah, screw it. Just give everything. <laughs> Age. Mix. You know, just make her drunk before her concert. Actually, that's a bad idea. Oh, well. Oh yeah, and a couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them, you'll be sleeping soundly. Uh oh. Am I gonna like, is she gonna like, you know, collapse during the concert and just fall asleep? Uh oh. Oh well. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical than missing, mixing drinks? Eh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. Well, when I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump in the forehead when the bottle slipped out of his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. You know, next gameplay mechanic, we'll need to spin the drinks around and set fire to everything. Uh, mm hmm. Hey, is this glass important? It depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Uh, maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill. Never lose your star from Akira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight, I guess. And then there's my fan club. Mm, what's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. There's a restraining order, you see. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They make very good soldiers. Or pretty good soldiers, rather. They have guns. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I don't know. I don't know if you should. You should I don't know if you should get used to them, though. I remember one was. Uh, I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> and she fails to see the problem. 
I just wish they leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know. I take pride in my old liquid collection, I guess this is the same. No, wait, it isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. I don't know if I do. Okay, one more trip before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the follow should have, should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of a gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, the weather forecast is accurate. The sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they ask for your love is a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets was worth the ridiculous price, you know. <laughs> That's idle for you. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bought it? Yeah. One time I brought some expensive coffee. This is one cafe. It tasted like filthy water of cream. I still don't know if it was coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Now well, let's see what can find you. Okay, I gotta sober her up. Something bitter. Yeah, Monka S. Just wants you so many stalkers. But I guess that's pretty normal. When you think about it, that's pretty normal for like an idol. Yeah, as fucked up as that is. I mean, it's all about that, right? That's that's the whole um, idea of marketing an idol, you know? Someone that's just there, you know? That belongs to you, but not really, you know? And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about idols. I don't really, I don't really follow idols, but I, I understand though. Something bitter. Sunshine Cloud? No. Bitter girly sob. Something sobering as well, probably. Mm, gut punch? This is sobering. Burning. Duplex. Burning. Burning. Mm, I don't see anything like. I like usually has some sobering. The, the idol industry has some bullshit going. Yeah, I don't know the details, but you know, it's kind of it's kind of again kind of fucked up, you know, because they have this image of this like perfect, you know, uh, pretty like girl and everything, and she's innocent in every way, but also there's a lot of corruption going on and everything behind the scenes. And it's also pretty tough to get into, you know. As far as I know, the industry is very tough to get into. And you have to like sacrifice basically, you know, I imagine if you were like a young girl, you know, that's the only time you can be an idol. And you have to sacrifice your time with like your education and everything. So I don't know. Like, unless I guess if you're really lucky, you know, and then you become an idol and everything, become super famous. I guess that will pay for you the rest of your life. But, you know, a lot of, a lot of girls, I imagine, don't just become an idol overnight. And so they lose the opportunity, you know, to go through school and everything. And what are you gonna do after that? It's kind of like, well, it's kind of like, well, it's kind of like an analogy for acting, I guess, you know. And yeah, and idols, you know. I mean, I guess you know, there's there's male idols too, but like, you know, you're not supposed to be in a relationship because, you know, the idea is that you're supposed to be open to like a relationship, uh, to your fans, I guess. You're supposed to like sacrifice your time to your fans. Because, you know, if you are in a relationship, then uh, the fans get jealous, I guess, is the idea. I don't know. It's pretty fucked up. I know so fucked up. I, I don't know. I don't like... I mean, obviously, I'm a giant weeb. So, like, it's not like I'm saying, like, you shouldn't like idols. But still, I don't know. Better drinks. This is sobering. Bitter, promo. I don't know. What am I doing? I'm kind of like... I guess something burning. Let's give her this. No, but then I wanna give her something with no alcohol though. I guess this one. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five. One. And no comic run. Because she's trying to get, you know, sober it up. Oop. Uh try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so. Really nice, thanks. Hey Jill, have you ever lost your identity? I've lost my ID card a couple times, yeah? No, I mean your identity. Forgotten who you are. Why are you so suddenly very evil? Uh, what's with the change in expression? No, not really. I did. Huh? 
Kira Miki is just an artist name. At first, it was hard for me to play the part, you know. But I gained so much satisfaction from the concerts that I decided to invest in myself. And I overdid it. Uh, how so? I became so invested in the character that I forgot who I was. Who was I before I became Kira Miki? What did I like? Where does Kira Miki end and I begin? I just don't know anymore. Sounds rough. What drove you to such a decision? The fact that I know I'm performing a noble duty. Uh, how? You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, insecurity, the black slime that comes out the sewers every full moon. <laughs> you don't know what will await you every morning. You don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measured, the cons of life outweigh the pros. People need something to cling on to, and for many, I'm that thing. Kinda like religion? Reminds me of religion. You are? During my concerts, they stop being themselves for four hours. They're not a nurse, an office worker, or a store clerk. For those four hours, they're just part of the, ma the mass that goes to see an idol. No religion, gender, or social class divides them. They're all at the same level. Damn. When not in concert, I try to give them songs that would cheer them up. That would make their lives worth living. When I see the people call my name from the stage, I know they're thanking me. Thanking me for that single moment when they can be happy. That's what I love about the stadium. I'm down below while they're up high. If forgetting who I was before means that I can protect those smiles, so be it. Protect those smiles. I'll make that sacrifice as many times as needed. Because I live for them, because I know I help them. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miki. And don't you ever forget that. Uh, okay. See ya. You came scary. Fan club, to me! We ride to the stadium. We ride at dawn. Uh, well. well. She's something else, huh? I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. Do you think she's telling the truth? Give me a sec. According to this article, her real name is Michelle Kingston, uh, deployed about two years ago. Oh, okay. She did a few variety shows of her jazz band, but went solo afterwards. Hmm, what was all that talk then? She was drunk and she was very... a uh, peculiar drug. Oh, okay, I guess because of that one drink, I gave her too much of the alcohols. Figures. Still quite the motivational performer though. I guess it really was. And that was also an act. Hmm. No doubt. Boss, uh, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? You know, do you pilot a Zaku that goes three times as faster as any other Zaku? Why, that was my moniker. You say that? I don't say I know how to say that. Moniker? Moniker? Monik Monica? Moniker. During my wrestling days. You're uh huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Uh, any reason for being red specifically? That way, I was three times faster. Well, there you go. That, is de that was definitely a reference to Gundam. How do you find that out? You like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. No promises, though. Alright. Uh, no mistakes. You grab a snack on the way home, it's on me. We got 2,000 bucks. You know, again, that seems like a lot, but I guess not really, because of how inflation works in this universe. So there you go. Your membership will be renewed on the 17th. Jill is humming Your Love is Drug. Buying the song will prevent her being again too distracted. You can now browse Kira Miki's uh, blog, I guess. Mm, cool. Yeah.